Assalamu alaikum and good day. In this video, we're going to learn about packaging and deployment of enterprise application. So in this topic, we're going to cover four subtopics. First, packaging component. Second, packaging Java EE application. Third, deployment descriptor. Fourth, deployment tools. Before we start this topic, let's recap few things about enterprise application, particularly web container. So, what is web container? Web container are Java server applications that provide an environment for execution of Java web application, server, and GSP. Web container maintain the life cycle of the server for example, call the do get method, to post method, and also is issue a thread for each request, and also give the server the HTTP request and returns it responds to the client. Let's take a look at web container and web server integration. A web container may be used to process HTTP requests by executing the service method on an HTTP server object. So in this figure, we can see that users send a HTTP request to the web server. Then the web server have the web container that process the HTTP request and interact with the database to generate the HTTP response. After finish, then the web server will send back the HTTP response to the user. Now let's take a look at packaging component. First of all, after we develop all our web components application, we need to get started with local deployment. When you deploy your application, typically you will package them into a file that is very similar to a zip file. For example, um, for Java EE application, you package it in a file called a Java archive or jar file if your project is a web archive you will package it into wav file and finally for an enterprise a air file you will package into one of these formats then you can use this file to deploy to the local server or a cloud server using jar wav or air files and modules make it possible to assemble a number of different Java E applications using some of the same component. There is no extra coding is needed. It is only a matter of assembling various Java EE modules into Java EE jar, wa or air files. Now let's take a look at packaging EJB modules. An EJB jar file is portable and can be used for various applications. To assemble a Java EE application, packaging one or modules such as EJB jar files into an air file, the archive file that holds the application. When deploying the air file that contain the enterprise bin jar file, you also deploy the enterprise bin to the Glassfish server. Now let's take a look at packaging web modules. WAR files. WAR files are Java archive with a dot .war extension. It packaged using the same specification as zip files. This WAR file understood by all Java EE application server. To make a WAR for your NetBeans project, you need to right click on the project node and select build project. Then the WAR file will be placed in the this subdirectory of your project folder. So now let's take a look at deployment descriptor. In some cases, you may need to include what we call a deployment descriptor, which is an XML file that includes deployment setting or the application module or a component. You use this file to describe deployment or runtime settings and specification that can be used when deployment is executed or the application runs on the server. This kind of packaging allow Java EE application to be contained into a single file with instruction as how to deploy or run them. 
Web.xml is part of the servlet standard for web application. It describes the classes, resources, and configuration of the application and how the web server uses them to serve the web request. When the web server receives a request for the application, it uses the deployment descriptor to map the URL of the request to the code that ought to handle the request. The rest of the files of web deployment descriptor can do something like server classes and mapping to URL, server configuration for init parameters, server filter definition and filter mapping, application context parameter for welcome files for error pages, etc. Now let's take a look at how we can map a servlet to URL in the deployment descriptor. First, you need to give a name to the servlet class. So this is how you put the syntax. Start with servlet open, servlet close, and then servlet name is here, and followed by the path of the servlet class. Second, mapping the servlet to URL or URL pattern. So the next step is servlet mapping start, and then the mapping to the servlet from the servlet to URL pattern. In the deployment descriptor, we also can add initial parameters to the servlet. So the syntax in the figure shows how to add the initialization parameters and another figure here shows how to assess the servlet initialization parameter. So basically, this is the syntax for the initialization of parameter that to be used in the servlet. So you start with init param and then the param name followed by param value and close tag by init param. And this is how you use the initialization parameter that being defined in the web.xml. So in your servlet, use the get servlet config method and call the method get in parameter by passing the username which is the parameter name. Now let's look at deployment tools. So for deployment tools, make the process of distributing software and updates as easy as possible. Often, these tasks are automatic or scheduled to enable software developers to focus on what they do best which is write code. And the best tool work with a variety of platforms and types of infrastructure. This is to make it easy to streamline developer workflow in their preferred environment. Once deployed on a local platform, the application is ready to run. Software deployment tools also allow developers to collaborate on their project, track progress and manage changes. The continuous integration and continuous deployment may be utilized to deploy software as changes are made, providing seamless updates for the end user. Some of the Java deployment tools are Jenkins, TeamCity, Bamboo, AWS Code, Deploy, and also Cradle. So these are major and powerful Java deployment tools in the market right now, which can help developers in management and in most facets of the software development lifecycle. Right, let's look at steps to deploy a WAR file. So in this step, I assume that you have already a working web application that you have opened in NetBeans. To create a WAR file, you need to open the project properties page. The simplest way of doing this is just right-clicking the project node in NetBeans and select properties option right at the bottom of the page. You need to navigate to packaging option under the build in the navigation tree in the left panel of the window. So this is the screen that you will see when you do the step. Next, after that, whenever that you click on clean and build your project, a WAR file will be created in the this directory in the project root. Now, you need to open the Glassfish web console and click on the application node. And you will see an area for uploading the WAR file. So as you can see in the diagram, I already have three applications deployed on the server and they are showing on the grid. If you need to deploy a new application, you have to click on the deploy button in the header. Since I already have the application installed, 
I will choose to redeploy link in action for columns for DVD library application. Next, um, click on the browse button and select the WAV file that you already have pressed the OK button on the right corner. So there are many options down this page for now but we will not change any of them. So after choosing the WAV file and pressing OK button, you will be taken back to the application page with grid showing all your application. So one of it is DVD library. So from there, you can click on launch and you will be taken to the this page. So in this page, the launch link will take us to the web application page with links where I can access the deploy application. So basically, this is the deploy application. Alright, that's all for now. Please read chapter 8 in my Google site for more details and examples on packaging and deployment of enterprise application. Thank you.